From 1998 through 2002, Tammy Masterson was a key part of Evansville's resurgence in women's basketball. Masterson totaled 898 points in her four-year career and still ranks fifth all-time in UE with 174 three-point field goals made. She was a part of Evansville's first NCAA tournament team in 1999 and helped the Purple Aces to the 2000 postseason WNIT. It was a lot of fun. I mean, to, to be a part of a program and a group of girls like that, you know, it wasn't just fun on the court and winning, but it was also fun off the court too. You know, we always were together. Following graduation, Masterson returned to her hometown of Plainfield, Indiana, and quickly found work in corporate sales. I met my husband back um, in 2003, and then we got married in 2005, and we have two beautiful little girls. I feel very lucky. I've had a pretty good life so far. That life would be interrupted at the start of 2016, though. I have a friend who was 29. She's one of my best friends. She was 29 when she was diagnosed, and just luckily she was doing a self-exam. And basically from that time on, I had been pretty good at doing them. And I found a spot that was more up on my chest, um, tiny. It was very tiny. And from there, I just decided that I probably should go to check out. It was scary because I was by myself, because I, I didn't expect for them to do a biopsy on my first appointment. Um, they had asked me if I wanted to reschedule and have someone with me, and I was, nah, just do it, let's get it over with. So I was a little bit scared. Um, and when they had the radiologist come in and read and the, the ultrasound, some reason something in my gut told me that this was cancer. Doctors diagnosed Tammy with invasive lobular carcinoma. Her first thoughts, were of her family. That's always been the one thing that has been scary for me. It's because I want to be around for when they're older. I want to see them graduate and I want to be at their weddings and those type of emotions totally come over. That's probably, you know, that and my husband and friends and family, you just, it's just scary. <clears throat> it's just a very scary time. I have an amazing support system from <laughs> my husband, he's awesome. He has been by my side every step of the way. I mean, he has seen me at my worst and he has been there to help me through it all. Um, my, my mom, my dad, my stepmom, my stepdad, everybody has been here to cook, to clean, to do my laundry. I mean, there were times when I couldn't get out of bed after my surgeries, um, and my mom's helping me. You know, my dad's helping me. It's, I've had the best support system. I mean, it makes all the difference. It, I feel like I should still be thanking every single person that had ever reached out to me, that had ever texted me. I mean, I just feel like I owe people so much gratitude because it truly did. I mean, I could get a text from Somebody that I went to high school with or a message on Facebook, hey, I just want to let you know I'm pulling for you. I mean, instantly, that just changes your demeanor and the way that you appreciate things for having people be concerned and to know people are pulling for you. Yes, 2016 was no fun, but it has made me stronger and it has made me appreciate my life and every single person that has influenced me, whether it's now whether it was in 2016 or whether it was way back in 1998. I'm just, I'm thankful more than anything, I think, for, for what has happened and for my future. Thankfully, Tammy's support group and a series of treatments have her back healthy, but she has a simple message to all women out there. Do your self-exams, and I'm not kidding when I say it doesn't matter how old you are. Um, everybody has cancer cells in their body and when they choose to mutate is not up to you. So I think that as a woman you have to be conscious of your own body. You, you just have to. And if something is there, you've got to get it taken care of as scary as it may be.